Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how we can fully back up and restore your whole Coolify instance. And at the end of the video, you're going to have a backup of your Coolify instance restored on a new server. So let me show you how to do this. So first thing, when you back up, you're going to need to set up uh, what we call S3 storage uh, for Coolify. So you can use any S3 provider. S3 is a standard uh, protocol that is used by AWS. Uh, uh, or any other provider like Cloudflare R2 that I'm using. So first thing you're going to want to do is go to the S3 storage tab and this is where we're going to be able to set up a S3 storage. So for myself, I set up the Coolify backup uh, storage that I called. So Coolify backup uh, bucket that I created on Cloudflare, I'm going to show you. We have the endpoint for the S3 API, the region, the access key and the secret key. This is where you can store those and um, make sure they're safe. You can validate the connection to make sure it's working. Tested with list object, which is a function inside the S3 API. Uh, so how it will look is if you go to Cloudflare R2, you can basically see I have my Coolify backup right there that uh, contains um, the backups I made. So if I go to data, Coolify, backups, Coolify again, and then oh, Docker internal, we see that I made some backups uh, yesterday and uh, two weeks ago. Uh, and you can see that we have the S3 API there. And the uh, API is basically only accessible via keys that I've created. And those keys can be created via the manage API tokens, which those keys have different permissions depending on what you need. So for myself, uh, what I used was uh, the backup, Coolify backup right there. Uh, and you can create keys from there. And once you've created the tokens, you can paste them into the uh, access key and secret key uh, fields. And this is basically gonna allow you to uh, have a, a working S3 storage. Uh, now what you're gonna wanna do is go to your settings. And then in the settings tab, you're gonna be able to go to backup. And then in backup, you're gonna see some information about your database and stuff like that. But for ourselves, what we're interested in is activating the S3 enabled backup, backup enabled, selecting our S3 storage source, and then selecting our frequency. So this is gonna dictate how, how many times per week, per month, per year, you're gonna do the backup or per day, you could do multiple. And then you're gonna be able to see a few other settings that um, I didn't really play with but you're gonna see also the executions of your um, backups being done. So you could start a manual execution if you wanted to try. And as you can see, we're doing some backups. This is the backup that I have on my Cloudflare R2 storage that I've shown you guys here. Uh, so this is one of the backups I have. Uh, and as you can see, the backups are pretty small, right? We're having like 1.14 megabytes. So this is a really small backup. Coolify is not uh, database heavy. So this is perfect. So. Once we have this file, um, we're gonna need to download it. So you can download it from here. Let's say you've lost this instance completely. You've completely lost this instance. You're gonna need to download it from here and you're gonna be able to restore it on the next instance that I'm gonna show you right after. One thing you want, you're gonna wanna do, and this is a very important step before you we do any restoring stuff. You need to get the keys for the current app. Uh, and I'm going to show you what I mean by that. Head out to the terminal tab. So as you can see, uh, it gave us an error for some reason. Uh, we're going to go with the localhost. It's auto-connecting. And then we're going to ne need to get those keys. So the keys I'm talking about uh, will be located in the uh, slash data slash coolify uh, directory. And we're going to be able to see uh, basically the folders we have here. And the keys are gonna be more specifically in the source directory. So if we do CD source, we have a bunch of files here, but we're gonna have a, a file called .env. So if we do env, we have .env, we have .env backup and the .env production. You can then go into .env, the first one. So you can do cat and then .env. And you're gonna be able to see uh, this key. So this is the key we're uh, very interested about. This is the key that you need to keep safe because if you lose this key, you will lose your old Coolify instance, the backup. Even if you have the backup file, you cannot uh, use it if you don't have this key. So 
keep this key on the side and we're going to use it for the restoration later. So once you have those, uh, what you're going to want to do is basically get your other server ready. So I have right here, uh, I have a new server ready. This is the uh, Coolify instance that I made on WSL. Um, you can do it on any VPS, whatever you want. It could be Esner or whatever. And then uh, we don't need that anymore. We can go and see that I have, uh, this is basically the new IP for my new server. And as you can see, if I try to go to the home page, it's gonna redirect me to the register page because I don't have an account yet. It's a fresh new install. There's nothing on there. So what I wanna do is basically get the uh, new instance restored from my previous backup. So there's a few things we're gonna need to do for that. But first things first is download the file I was talking to you about. Uh, transfer it to the new server so you can do it via SSH or whatever FTP something like that uh, and for myself I got it right here so PG DOM Coolify this is my latest backup and then what you're gonna want to do is basically restore this file into a new container so if you go and look at sudo docker ps docker ps like that you're going to be able to see that all the containers are successfully running. This is why we have the UI. Uh, you can see Coolify DB. This is the container we're interested about. So if we go ahead and look at the uh, container, you're going to be able to see that we have a Postgres instance. This is inside the uh, Coolify DB container. And then if we do backslash L, we see that we have the Coolify database, which is the one we're interested about. The Postgres and the templates are basically like placeholders. Um, so then once we've done that, we make sure that our database is done, uh, our database is running, stuff like that. Uh, you're going to be able to restore the actual um, database from the file. So uh, with me, you're going to do sudo docker exec hyphen i, and then you're going to do the name of the container. So in our case, it's going to be Coolify DB with the pg restore command which is the uh, postgres restore uh, utility tool and then you're going to do user coolify with verbose and then the database is going to be coolify and then we're going to pipe into this command we're going to pipe the pg file so this is going to be the postgres dump that we pipe into the command and uh, this is going to allow us to start the uh, restoration process now let's click enter you will see a bit of warnings at the bottom saying there's an error. Most of the time it's uh, because foreign keys already exist or sequences already exist or things like that already exist because we still have the base structure of the Coolify instance even though we don't have the same data. Uh, so don't worry about that. Now what will happen is when you go inside uh, your Coolify instance right here, you can see we're still on the register page, but if we go to uh, the home page, it's not going to redire redirect us to the new register page. We're going to be able to see the login page like usual, and the password you're going to want to enter and credentials are the same as the one that you've backed up. So uh, those are going to be the same credentials. Credentials are also backed up and restored when you do the restoration command, and you're going to be able to enter the same as the old ones. And once you click enter, uh, you will see on your dashboard that you have projects that are exactly the same as the previous instance. So if we go ahead and look at the projects, we have the my request, open forge, test project, uh, all of those. One thing you will see though is when you click, it's going to give us a 500 uh, error, which I was getting um, earlier, but uh, I basically figured out that the uh, env file was not uh, synced up. So click on the my request uh, project let's say and then click on an application this is the error you're going to get if you don't um, restore the env file so i'm going to show you how i can do this right now so first thing i want to do is go to your uh, basically your vps and go to the uh, data folder of coolify and if i do this it's going to give me an error yeah permission denied so let's do we're going to change the owner of the, the directory of Coolify. We're going to put it recursive where you'll give it to the user I am right now. So let's go to Coolify and then 
the directory that uh, interests us is the same as the previous one is the source directory so cd to source and then we're going to modify the env file as you can see we have the app key which is not the same one that we had the last time the last time we were ending with a, a knee right there um, so what we're going to want to do is add a new environment variable to tell the coolify instance that okay so this is the previous instance we were on and this is the one we need to be on right now so uh, it's going to allow you to basically decrypt uh, the information that were on the previous database that your current instance are basically not aware to um, basically know how to decrypt it so the new variable we're going to use is called app previous keys uh, and you basically take the key that you had the last time and you paste it here so you can see it's ending with the, uh, an e um, it's basically the key that you need to put for this variable and then say the file with control x y then enter and then what i want you to do is to uh, change directory go to your own directory and run the curl command uh, the same installation command as the first time so the curl uh, install command uh, sudo bash you can see um, right there and then it's going to reinstall uh, coolify restart the containers make sure everything is working right and then we're not going to get any errors again for uh, the 500 um, HTTP error we're getting earlier if you go to uh, the um, front end we're gonna start uh, probably slowly start to see uh, the changes when the yeah so the server is not launched yet uh, but if we go here and we try to wait you can see it's already back up and if we go to the application you can see it's working now so this is this was only the only fix and as you can see I still have all my uh, my credentials and stuff like that um, if I go to deployments, I even have my old deployments there. Uh, I'm going to have my logs, uh, stuff like that. My S3 storages are still there. I can use them. Um, so this is basically how you restore a Coolify instance from backup to restoration. I hope this video could help you guys and I'll see you guys in the next one.